Hello folks, so today we're pleased to introduce Brian here, he's a technician, most qualified technician for these machines, he actually works for Crane. And we're troubleshooting this Vosse coffee machine, it's an early generation one. It's in very good shape, but there are some errors I don't know how to clear. And currently we're trying to figure out why it's saying cold water. So we're in this step we're removing all the mixtures to get to the back panel. Now we have a view of the back panel. Brian here is going to remove the back panel. So what that's telling me, we have power to the heater. Okay. But it's not getting hot. Which tells me we got a bad heater. Got it. And which is the wire to the heater that you tested? brown uh, oh those are lays right there i see the brown and the blue got it. to the heater so the brown is the negative and the one on the left is the positive. so brian is emptying the water because we're going to remove the tank and the heater and there's a little holes already provided in the machine That water felt a lot hotter than I thought. And I hear something trying to brew. Our water's oil. flowing into the, the tank's filling back up. I got it. I want to make sure before we. I don't want to take the tank out and change the heater if we don't need to. So Brian's diagnosing the problem. That's the most difficult thing is to diagnose the problem. Changing parts is not the difficult part, but to know, to know what to change. We're getting power to the heater. I see that. And then there's these two buttons there. I didn't feel any of them popped out, but I pushed them in anyway. Mm -hmm. And if the tank gets too hot, they're designed to pop out so it doesn't just boil over. And that one, that, that one is out. Which one? The red one is showing, so it's well, popped out. Well, it's but it would be popped out further. Got it. If it was popped out you'd have no power to the heater. Okay. But I was pushing those before I checked the power, so maybe one of those was popped up. Hmm. But we'll see. So again, when they're popped out, is that there's too much water or too much, too high temperature? 83, it's hotter than we were, it's going up now. Okay. So one of those must have been tripped. Was the red one popped out? You push it in? I don't think so, but it's hard to tell. Those two ones on the side are hard to tell. I put my screwdriver and pushed them in. It was hard to tell because the, the wires are so close together. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. They're like breaker switches kind of yeah. in your home. Yeah. They trip and then... It okay. opens up the circuit, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. So I don't, it's not the heater. Think temperature is. Then based on that, when I was looking at that little black box, there's that relay. When it's on, 
there's a little red light that'll come on. But when we power it back up, I'll show you because it's easier to see when the lights are. The four wires on it, right there? Yes, I see that. Okay, wrong and right in wrong. the middle, there's a red light. It'll come on when it's heating. What a lot of times happens is the temperature probe will get some scale built up on it. So it doesn't read the temperature exactly right and the tank will overheat. Huh. And that's why one of those will open up the trip. Is it possible to overheat and not show the temperature outside here? In other words, if it was overheating, yet was saying 82 degrees? It could. Huh. If that tension was really bad, but I don't think it is. I think it's just... I think we're going to change your temperature probe just to be safe. It fits right into the water. In the Very tank. cool. So I think we're going to do that just to be safe. Insurance. Wait, we have newborn infants. The best way to measure the temperature is still <laughs> through the... Yeah. Yeah, better than those guns. We bought a temperature gun, so it says, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, that's the heater relay. So the indicator when that light is on, so, you guys hear that? The red dot indicates the heater is working. Or is heating. Should be. Should be. Should be. As long as those, one of those are tripped out. So, this machine, interestingly enough, I just learned they're, they're made in England. The Vosse coffee machines. And some relays from Italy and parts from China. <laughs> yeah. Some parts, most parts, I'm not sure. But it, there's an interesting international mix of parts and labor involved in putting these together. Yeah, all the rest of the machines we build in South Carolina, but the coffee machines are manufactured there. We have a factory in England that builds them and actually builds them with everything but the monetary. Of course, the newer one's a little bit different, but it comes with kind of a vanilla door, so they put on the front panel or whatever. Is that why the door is on the wrong side? The lock is <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably. The lock is on the wrong side. Yeah, probably. That makes sense. But yeah, they're all built in England, where they're manufactured here in England. And then they're shipped to Williston. They still go down a production line where they put on the finishing touches on these. But these coffee machines aren't as simple as a beverage machine where you just replace the control board and change the typical parts. There's a lot more into it. I mean, there's a lot more hydration and tubes and valves and switches. Have a desire for challenges, you should get into this, the coffee and Jose machines. 179, should heat up pretty quick now. And how did I manage to screw this up? I you mean, didn't do it, it's nothing you did. It just that probe got some scale built up on it and it wasn't insulating it so it wasn't reading the temperature exactly right. right. Water tank set up. Set for 200. That's okay. And then the minimum, 180. So it has to get to 180 before it'll work. Say the message until it gets to 180. Yeah, it will. I guess it won't let me hear. Until it gets hot. I mean, testing, the clever thing here, he suggests just put into the, the milk and the sugar to test the temperature instead of loading all the the mix is in and have to remove them again. So in testing the beverages, Brian goes and he's putting each, you know, each mix one at a time, which is quite clever. So we tested the hot chocolate, now we're testing the caramel mix. And we're gonna close down this video here tutorial on the coffee machine with three words. We just learned clean, filled, and working. And working. <laughs> Clean, filled, and working. Best of luck, guys.